Hello everyone, this is Ellie the Mer Priestess and here is a tarot exercise for you all. Please take a moment to check in with yourself and intuitively pick either number one, two, or three and I will share with you a card from the Major Arcana and the Major Arcana is different from the minor arcana in the tarot in that it looks at things from a higher perspective, meaning a more spiritual perspective. So the purpose of this exercise is to actually advise you on what sort of spiritual themes to focus on this month and which ones would be most beneficial for you to really focus on this month. All right, so without further ado, if you're ready, let's begin with number one. So number one, the card for you is the Emperor card. And what's interesting for me is that I felt the energy of all of the cards before I even turned them over. And I think it was quite fitting that the Emperor went with the number one because the energy of the number one is that of power, it's that of leadership, and that I feel is the essence of the Emperor card here. It's this masculine sort of power, this sort of leadership, sitting on his throne, really just claiming it, really sitting in that power. So I feel like meditating on this image, if you have a deck of tarot cards at home, um, looking at this image and meditating on it and immersing yourself in that energy would be so beneficial for you this month and would really give you a good dose of power. Um, maybe even wearing the color red, tapping into that dynamic masculine energy would probably be really good for you, I think. And um, yeah, just immersing yourself in that energy. Um, the thing also about um, the emperor is that it's that spiritual kind of energy, that masculine dynamic king energy. But for your everyday life, I feel that it's going to affect you positively. So really tapping into that state, that embodiment of those energies is going to help you in your life in a material way. Um, it could probably help you achieve more material success, uh, achievement of goals, and also emotional satisfaction. Um, so I think it would be really beneficial for you guys to do that. I'm also getting here that for some of you, it would be good to um, have an advisor or a mentor to turn to this month. Someone who's maybe not necessarily older, but someone who is wiser in that they may have more experience in something that you're traversing your way through. So that's an intuitive hit that I got that may not apply to everyone, but for some of you, this may really resonate. So if it does resonate for you, I say go for that. All right, so if you've picked number two, the card for you is the star card. And um, I mentioned this with card number one. Before I even turned over the cards, I felt the energy of each card and I felt blue and at first I thought mm, I wonder if this card is the high priestess because the high priestess has a, a strong prevalence of blue but no it was the star card which also has a lot of this beautiful blue um, so blue <laughs> it's funny because people usually think blue is equals boy but um, in the tarot, blue represents feminine energy because feminine energy is passive and blue is the cool color. It's the passive color. So this might be a good color for you guys this month. And this does still, even though it's not the high priestess, which is a very feminine card, <clears throat> this still 
comes off to me as having a lot of feminine energy. So for you, um, whereas with number one, it's interesting, um, I advise them to focus on masculine energy, king energy. This is feminine energy that you're advised to have a focus on. By the way, um, if you by any chance decided to choose number one and two or all three, then it definitely means for you to mix the two together. <laughs> so that's just a little side note for people who um, chose more than one number. But anyway, um, this also feels like magic, wonder. So the star card is a really wondrous card. It's um, a card of hope and it's a card linked to wishes and dreams. And so it's that sort of magical, wondrous energy. Also, the star card can have to do with, um, yeah, the realm of the stars. So um, things beyond this earthly plane. And I think it's fitting because the month of Pisces is, you know, about the otherworldly, beyond the physical, the mystical, the magical, all that kind of stuff. So I feel that if you picked this card, this month is a time for you to look to the stars, look to the mystical, look to the magical, look to the divine feminine energy as well. Speaking of magic, specifically the kind of magic that has to do with the divine feminine, the magnetic energy, whereas masculine energy can be more go-getter, uh, feminine energy is more magnetic. Um, so definitely I feel that that's the energy for you to tap into. And then you can, the effect of that I feel this month is that you will see yourself attracting abundance, materializing things in your life. So yeah, that's definitely what is advised for you guys. Okay, so if you picked card number three, the card for you is the devil card. Now, um, as I mentioned with card number two and card number one, I felt the energy of the cards before I, I turned them over. And with this one, before I turned it over, I felt the energy of money. And the devil card has to do with material matters. And so I feel that um, thinking about things um, in a more concrete way, in a material way, thinking of earthly matters, material matters, is a good point of focus for you guys. So um, to, I would almost say like ground yourself. Um, so think about the what is, you know, what physically are the conditions of your life. Focus on, again, material matters. Um, this Money may be a big theme for you guys this month in some kind of way, um, but I feel that it's important for you to ground yourselves and focus on the material matters, the physical matters of your life. Um, I'm also getting here that um, there may be, so there's two interpretations that I have. So for some of you, one of them may resonate or the other or both. The second one is that sometimes this card can have to do with this theme of bondage and also limitation. And um, this is the month when we are largely in the energy of Pisces. The sun is in Pisces until around the 20th. So um, the thing about Pisces is that um, it's also linked to the 12th house, which has to do with this theme of freedom slash imprisonment you know, freedom versus imprisonment. So I feel like there's some kind of burden, there's something that's been bond, like a form of bondage for some of you, a limitation, and this month is a time for you to let go and release those bondages. And the bondages can be so many different things. It could be a limiting situation um, that has been not good for you, it could be uh, limiting thoughts and beliefs that are not necessarily true and you don't need to think that way. It could be fear. Um, so I feel that 
the message for you is to release those things and you will feel probably so much better and so free and free to um, go about your life in a more happy way, in a way where you can um, materialize the things in your life that you would like to more freely. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Those are your messages and your advised themes to focus on this month. Thank you and see you all next time. Bye.